The following program is sponsored by friends and partners of Kingdom Dominion Church of God. Stay tuned for today's message.
presence, my God, I feel a release. So draw me close. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that's within me. Bless his holy name. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Our God is awesome, and we give him all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise this morning. The psalmist saying, Psalm 100, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. Hallelujah. His mercy is everlasting. And his truth endureth to all generation. Let me welcome you this morning to Kingdom Dominion Church of God. Our worship service here uh, at Kingdom Dominion Church of God. The Lord bless you. Thanks for joining us on Facebook Live, on YouTube Live, on Zoom. And we're here to lift up the mighty name of Jesus. This morning, we're going to adore him. We are going to confess our sins before him. We are going to make our petitions known unto him. Uh, we're going to give him thanks. Uh, we're going to give him praise. We're going to glorify our God. We're going to encourage one another. We're going to seek our God in prayer and fast in this morning. Praise God, because our God deserves to be exalted. And he's a good God. And if we want to touch his heart, if we want to reach uh, uh, his heart and to accomplish things that are seems impossible we have to pour out our soul to him we have to seek him in prayer and fasting and we have to glorify and worship him and there are so many things that we want to see happen in our world our youth needs to be saved we're in a pandemic and people are uh, sick people need to be healed praise god people need to be delivered from sin souls needs to be saved we need to submit ourselves totally unto the almighty God. The Bible said we are to submit ourselves unto him and uh, humble ourselves before him and he will exalt us in due season. So let us uh, uh, lift up a praise unto the almighty God right now. The songwriter says, how great thou art. When then sings my soul, O Lord my God. When I, in awesome wonder, consider all the worlds thy hands have made, I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe display then sings my soul my savior god to thee how great thou art how great thou art then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. And when I think 
of God, his son, not sparing, sent him to die. I scarce can take it in that on the cross my burden gladly bearing he bled and died to take away my sin then sing my soul my savior god to thee how great thou art how great thou art then sings my soul my savior god to thee how great thou art how great thou art when christ shall come with shout of acclamation to take me home what joy shall fill my heart do you feel that joy? Then I shall bow in humble adoration and then proclaim, my God, how great, how great thou art. Hallelujah. Then sing, my soul, my Savior God, to be how great thou art how great thou art then sings my soul my savior my savior god to thee how great thou art how great thou art how great thou how great thou art hallelujah to the lamb of god we serve a great god he reigns above all other gods all of the other gods are the works of men but our God is the only true and living God. He deserves to be exalted. He deserves to be praised. He's the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And we lift up and exalt his mighty name this morning. We give him all the glory. We give him all the honor. And we give him all the praise for who he is. Hallelujah. We are going to approach the throne of God right now in prayer. We're going to pray a prayer of confession before God as we consecrate ourselves before God and humble ourselves under his mighty hand this morning. We're going to pray a prayer. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Thank you, Jesus. We glorify your name. Just as I am, without one plea but that thy blood was shed for me and that thou bids me come to thee O Lamb of God I come just as I am and waiting not to rid my soul of one dark blood to thee whose blood can cleanse its part O Lamb of God, I come. Father, I come broken to be mended this morning. I come wounded to be healed this morning. I come desperate to be rescued, mighty God. I come empty to be filled this morning. I come guilty 
to be pardoned this morning. Father, thank you for your blood that cleanses us from all sins. And so God, as we come this morning, we humble ourselves. We seek mercy. We seek grace, mighty God. We know that it's by grace that we are saved through faith and that not of ourselves. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. And so God, as we come this morning, we come to say thank you, Lord, for your grace and your mercy. Father, we say like David in Psalm 51, have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love, according to your great compassion, blot out all my transgressions, wash away all my iniquities, and cleanse me from all my sins. For I know my transgressions and my sin is always before me. Against you, God, only you have I sinned and done uh, what is evil in your sight. Almighty God. And so surely, God, we come before you this morning and we ask you for, to cleanse us with hyssop, mighty God. Oh, wash us and we will be whiter than snow. Oh, mighty God, hide your face from our sins uh, and blot out all our iniquities. Uh, create in me a clean heart, oh God, and renew a right spirit within me. Do not cast me from your presence, mighty God. Uh, do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Uh, restore unto me the joy uh, of your salvation. Uh, oh, and grant a willing spirit in me, God. Sustain me with your spirit. Uh, uplift me with your spirit. Uh, oh, mighty God. Uh, I thank you, God, for cleansing. Thank you for washing me. Thank you, God, for blotting out my transgressions. Thank you for your blood that cleanses us from all sins. And so, God, we give you praise. We give you honor. For you are a merciful God. And we thank you that your grace and your mercy will keep running after us all the days of our life. Father, we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the praise and we say thank you lord thank you lord somebody thank him for forgiveness somebody thank him for the blood somebody thank him for his grace and his mercy somebody say thank you lord for cleansing me from all sin father we give you praise we give you glory we give you honor and we magnify your name this morning because you are awesome in this place. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We magnify his name this morning. Welcome again those who have just joined us in the studio. Welcome, welcome. God bless you. It's nice to have you joining and worshiping with us. Let us continue to worship the King of Kings. Amen. Let's continue to worship our God. Hallelujah. As the deep panted for the water, so my soul longed after thee. As the deer panted for the water, so my soul longed after thee. You alone are my heart's desire and alone to worship you. You alone are my strength, my shield, to you alone. To you alone doth my spirit yield. You you alone are my heart's desire and I long to worship. Anybody long to worship him this morning? You're my friend and you're my brother. You are 
my brother even though you are a king you are the king i love you more than any other so much more than anything you alone are my strength my shield to you alone may my spirit be you alone are my heart's desire and i long to worship you i want you more than gold or silver hallelujah only you can satisfy lord can satisfy i you alone are the real joy giver joy giver and the apple of my eye apple of my eye you alone you alone are my strength my shield to you alone may my spirit yield you alone are my heart desire and i long to worship you you alone are my strength my shield to you alone my spirit is. you alone are my heart's desire and i long to worship you you're alone are my strength you alone how my strength my shield to you alone doth my spirit yield you alone are my heart's desire and i long to worship you say it one more time and i long and i long to worship you tell him one more time and i long to worship you you alone are my strength my shield come on you alone are my strength my shield to you alone doth my spirit you alone are my heart's desire and i long to worship you anybody long to worship him and i long to worship you say it one more time and i long to worship anybody long to worship him from your heart and i long to worship you somebody give god a praise in the house somebody lift up the mighty name of jesus hallelujah open your mic and glorify god if you love him the way you should love him this morning just lift up your voice just magnify the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Yield your spirit to him. Open your heart to him. Release yourself in his presence this morning. And magnify the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. He deserves to be exalted. He deserves to be magnified. He woke you up this morning. He set you on your way. You're still in your right mind. You're still alive. You're still breathing. Just lift up the mighty name of Jesus and magnify his name lord we worship and adore you hallelujah glory to god minister denise campbell is coming to us at this time to share a little bit and to pray uh, for the body of christ for submission to the word of god and to god minister denise 
over to you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning, everyone. I am Sister Denise. I'm just thankful to be in the house of the Lord. Yes, and I say that with a smile, the house of the Lord. And today, give honor and glory to the name of the Lord. And first of all, I just want to uh, re remind all of us of the meaning of the word submission or submissive is to be able to conform to authority or the will of others meekly in obedience. With that said, I give honor and glory to God for today and the subject, the theme that we are on or have been on all throughout the month of May. Praise God. I would love to tease your righteous mind this morning in the five minutes that I have as we seek to give honor and glory to God. There is a song that simply says, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the Lord God Almighty reign. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy. Holy. Are you like God Almighty? Worthy is a lamb, worthy is a lamb, amen. Praise God, praise God. Uh, our God is sovereign this morning. I want to bring to your attention uh, just a simple phrase that submission, in my opinion, it's not a thing or it's not an event. It's a lifestyle for all ages and all genders, all religion, all groups, all type. Submission is a lifestyle. Um, I've been struggling, Pastor, and you can call me after this on this one. With St. John chapter eight, I was saying to the Lord, I don't understand how uh, the woman caught in the act of adultery could fit into submission. And I was wrestling with it. But I want to uh, open our pure minds on today. In short, that the woman who was caught in the act, that her submission was perhaps out of fear and embarrassment because she was caught in, the, in an act. The emphasis I want to make really is to tell you that no matter how far gone we think we are, and no matter how bad a situation we might think that we're in, uh, submission, there is no reason good enough for us not to be submission. There should not be any lack of submission among us. Our submission, should be so obvious, like the woman caught in the act, that it will yield divine intervention. And I want to let you know that when Jesus intervened, the end results always bring gratification and maximum satisfaction. This is what I gather from St. John chapter eight, verse one to four. Now, if after you have flipped and dipped and tried everything and you're not achieving that kind of a result, the maximum satisfaction that comes, if the Lord doesn't intervene on your behalf, regardless of what your act or action might be, if you're not submissive and the Lord doesn't intervene, we have to examine our motive. We have to check ourselves to see, why am I doing this? Am I doing this so I could get the glory for myself? Because this woman could have acted up, you know, she could have said, okay, you dragging me in the city. 
I, I couldn't do this act all by myself and she could have gone to the left, but she stayed the course. And her submission, regardless of the fact that it might be out of embarrassment or, or guilt, it brought her divine intervention. They took her to the right person. They took her to the right place. They brought her to Jesus. And after trying to show this woman up in more ways than one, uh, somebody said, I started a joke and the joke is now on me. The joke was on all of them. He that is without sin, the Bible said, let him cast the first stone. I'm closing out here with Romans chapter 13, verse one and two. It said, let every soul be subject unto the higher power. For there is no power but of God. The power that are, are ordained of God. Whosoever therefore resisted the power, resisted the ordinance of God, and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. Once again, we're called to examine our motive. If we resist, then we're calling upon ourselves damnation. It is my desire this morning to continue to bless the Lord and to praise him. And so the songwriter said, my heart of no desire to stay. And I'm about to pray. Where doubt arise. And fear dismay, but fate of God, the joyful song, the song of saints, and I, I groan, Lord, lift me up and let me stand. My faith and heaven stable land, and I your place that I have found. Lord, plant my feet on higher, higher ground. My soul was in sad exile was out on life seas, so burdened with sin and distress. But then I heard a sweet voice saying, make me your choice. And I have entered into the heaven of rest. I have anchored, it now becomes personal, hallelujah. I have anchored my soul in the heaven of rest and I will sail the wide seas no more. The tempest may sweep over wide stormy deep, but in Jesus, I am safe. Hallelujah. I am safe evermore. Father, in the mighty name of a mighty God, we come to you this morning as humble as we know how. Our pastor, I've already made confession on our behalf that our righteousness are as filthy rags before you, and that there is none that is righteous, no, not one. God, you said, I look for a man, and there was none. But this morning we come to you, Lord, with hearts broken and knees bended. Some of us are literally in pain. Some of us are feeling sick. Oh, God, some of us are sad. Some have lost the love that they've had and they're those who have not learned how to love you well. But together we come, Lord, whatever category we fall in this morning, we come to you knowing that you are the source, knowing that you are able, knowing that you are powerful enough, oh God, to attend unto us individually, even though we come to you collectively. Mighty God, I pray in the name of Jesus that our hearts will desire the same thing, oh, to be submissive, oh God, to the higher power, oh God, to be submissive to your command and your demand, to be submissive to those that you have placed over us, 
And God, if we become submissive, and truly, Lord, together, we can tear down the enemy's kingdom. The enemy have a weapon, Lord, a very powerful weapon that seems to work against the believer. It's like the kryptonite against the believers. Discouragement. Oh, God, that comes to us regardless of whether we have money or education. Touch us. God Almighty, but we ask you on this day, oh God, Amen. that you will intervene like you have never intervened before. God, we ask you that you will stretch forth your wounded hand, that hand that have the scar that was made by man. We're asking you, oh God, that you will stretch forth your hand and you will heal your nation. Oh, you said, if my people that are called by my name, Oh Lord, you're looking for a people uh, that is calling upon your name. And you're asking for this people to humble themselves and pray and seek your face and turn from our wicked ways. And when we comply, mighty God, you have no choice than to respond by healing our land. Whatever the land is that need healing on today, you are the healer. Help us, oh God, once again to be submissive to your will and to your way. And together the body of Christ and the people, oh God, of kingdom dominion say to you, I say yes, Lord, yes, to your will and to your way. Oh God, I say yes, and I will trust you and obey. When your spirit speak, God help us to listen only to your spirit. And when your spirit speak to me with our whole heart, we come in agreement on today. And our answer will always be yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We give you thanks in Jesus' name. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Somebody give up a praise to the Almighty God. Hallelujah. We say yes to the Lord this morning as we come in his presence. As we continue to lift up the name of Jesus, we say yes to his will. Never let me go. Never let me go. I lay it all. I lay it all down again. He you say that I'm your friend. You are my desire. No one else will do. Nothing else can take your place. To feel the warmth of your embrace. Help me find the way, bring me back to you. You're all I want. You're all I ever needed. You're all. Somebody worship him right where you are. Glorify him right now. Hallelujah. Draw me close to you. I don't know about you, but I want to get as close to him as possible. Never let me go. I don't want to let him go either. I want to be close all the time. I lay it all down again. To hear you say that I'm your friend. You are my desire. No one else with, I don't want no one else but you, Jesus. You are the one I want. Nothing else to take your place. No one can replace you, Jesus. Feel the warmth of your embrace. Hallelujah. 
help me find the way bring me back to you you're on you're on yes lord you're all i want you're all want him this morning how much do you need him how much do you desire him this morning hallelujah yes Lord you're all I want help me know you are me yes Lord help me know you are help me know help me know Jesus Help me know you, Ali. Glory to God. Come on, let's just magnify the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. If you want him this morning, why don't you lift up your voice and say, Lord, I want more of you. Lord, I need you. Lord, I desire you. Lord, I can't have enough of you. I just want more every day. Come on, somebody lift up the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, we bless your name, God. We want more of you, God. We desire more of you this morning. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Sister Wright is coming to us at this time. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Bless the name of Jesus. Oh, we're going to pray for submission in our marriages. Submission of husband to God or to Christ and submission of wives. To husbands. Sister Ryan. Good morning, everyone. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you being here. We're going to be praying. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let us continue to bless the Lord. Continue to lift him up right now. Continue to give him praise. Hallelujah. Somebody lift up the name of Jesus. Um, hallelujah. While Sister Wright gets her mic reconnected, can we just continue to worship him? Can we continue to lift our voice, say something to him? God, we exalt you. Lord, we magnify you. We worship you, God, because you are worthy oh, to God. be worthy jesus hallelujah pray. come on somebody magnify me you Amen. might be going through a lot of stuff even right now uh, a lot of stuff is going on you may be saddened Amen. by some bad news but we can hallelujah. still worship our god we Amen. can still glorify the king of kings we can still draw Amen. close to him Amen. draw near to him the bible says he will draw near to us open Amen. your mouth and let us magnify our god right this moment let us lift up the mighty name of jesus because he is our god he's our king he's our lord he is our protector our guider our strength our rock hallelujah to the Lamb of God, we magnify his name right now. We praise him for who he is. There is none like our God. From the bright sun unto the going down of the same. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. We magnify him. We magnify him right now. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Somebody give him a praise. Somebody give him a praise. Hallelujah. Yes, oh, Lord. thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Isn't God a good God? Hallelujah. He to be praised. He's worthy. Hallelujah. He deserves to be praised. Hallelujah. Is anybody saying yes to him this morning? Yes, Lord. I yes. say yes, Lord. Yes. yes. To your will yes. and to your yes. way. I say yes, Lord. Yes. I will trust you and obey. When your spirit oh, speak to me, then my whole, with my whole heart, I'll agree. And yes. my answer will be yes, Lord, yes. That's what we're waiting for this morning. The whole of man will say yes. 
Yes, the God. Yes, to his will. Yes, to his, his, his vision. Yes, to his mission. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Oh, bless God. Bless God. We're going to continue and Mr. Wright will connect with us uh, momentarily. Um, but we're going to ask um, Dr. Samuels to go ahead and do her presentation at this time. Uh, praise the name of Jesus. Go ahead. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God, praise God, praise God, everybody. Praise God, everybody. Praise God, praise God. Praise, God. praise the name of Jesus. It's good to be in the house of Hallelujah. the Lord. Oh, yeah. Greetings oh, yeah. to everybody. Hallelujah. Glory thank to you. God. Thank you, yeah. Jesus. Thank Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Oh, thanks, Bishop and Pastor Angela, for this opportunity. And I surely don't take it for granted. I am looking at Matthew 28 from verse 16 to verse 20, and I'm going to read it. It says, then the 11 disciples went away into Galilee, into a mountain where Jesus had appointed them. Verse 17, and when they saw him, they worshiped him, but some doubted. 18, and Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. 19, go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Verse 20 and last, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Amen. This was the last command from our Lord Jesus Christ before he was risen. I want to break it down a little this morning as we are in the season post-crucifixion. Verse 16, Jesus directed them to meet him in Galilee. He had ministered over 50 times in Galilee. And as I look at it, we remember the first miracle that he did was in Galilee. Canaan of Galilee, yes. He visited Capernaum there. The miracles, miraculous catch of the fishes was in Galilee. Praise the name of Jesus. He called Simon, Andrew, James, and John in Galilee. He healed a man with the withered hand on the Sabbath in Galilee. The Sermon on the Mount was taken, had taken place in Galilee. He healed the centurion servant there. He raised the widow's son at Nain in Galilee. He raised Jairus' daughter. Do you remember the woman with the issue of blood? Galilee. Praise the name of Jesus. He healed two blind men and cast out a demon. All of that took place in Galilee. The Mount of Transfiguration, again in Galilee. Praise the name of Jesus. Yes. And do you remember the time when the disciples could not cast out that demon? Jesus Christ, he cast it out when he told them that these things come through prayer and fasting. Man. So it would only make sense that everything from the beginning to the end ended in Galilee. Praise the name of Jesus. So in verse 17, as I'm looking at it, it says, Upon seeing Jesus, they worship him. The part that bothered me, why were they in doubt? Worship does not typically come with a doubt. I'm just in my mind wondering, were they saying, mm -hmm, what next? My God. But I don't think that there should have been any doubt, but I'm not going to go into that. My next thing is, and verse 18, he answered, Jesus used the word all four times. Jesus has all authority given unto him. We are to make disciples of all nations. We are to teach that we should obey all that he had commanded during his earthly life. And the promise that closes is that he will be with us always. These four alls capture much of what the paragraph intend for him to communicate unto us. Always with us. Matthew closes with what is perhaps one of the most 
comforting statements in the scripture. Jesus, as Lord of all, promised to be with us, that church, always, even until the final consummation of everything. The continuing abiding presence of Jesus is a profound promise. The gospel opened with a similar affirmation in which Jesus is in Emmanuel or God with us. Today, I want to remind us of the great mandate. I, when I, before I got baptized, I don't remember if anybody knows the days when we have to be on candidate bench and we have to sit there and know the scripture and somebody teaches us the way before we got baptized, right? Unless you were taking a eunuch's baptism. And here I have to sit there for about six weeks learning Matthew 28, verse 19. Go ye. I tell you all the time, this is a great mandate. You don't need a robe. You don't need a collar. Jesus had already ordained you as a minister of the gospel, not just in Georgia. He said, go into all the world. Teach, preach, baptize. And this is it. He will never leave us. He is with us all ways until you take that last breath he yeah. is going to be with us always even on to the end of this world God. his presence his presence is going to be with us why would we fear when we know that he tells us i am going to be with you always may you be blessed this morning just remember his always no matter what no matter what debt no matter who beat your head on a concrete no yeah. matter who turned yeah. you upside down no matter who put you into hot water and burn you he yeah. is going to be with you always have no fear father in the name of jesus this morning we thank you we thank you we thank you for the great mandate but more than anything lord we thank you for the comfort many times when we run we run for shelter oh god if there's a rain we run out of the rain oh god if somebody's coming with a sword we run because we don't want to be killed but i thank you this morning daddy i thank you this morning that you told us that you are going to be with us always no matter what dark dark cloud come our way god almighty you will allow us to walk on water daddy jesus you allow an axe to float on water you allow an axe to speak oh god you you promise us that all power you told us that whatever you bind here and we bind here on earth you will ban it up in heaven yes, no yes. devil in hell can take that away god because yes. you have already cloaked us and clothe us ready 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 and the great okay. thing about it is that we can feel your presence glory to god this morning lord for those who have not already felt your presence for those god who do not know you personally let them remember this morning lord that you promise your people you will be with us always Hallelujah. take us to every wilderness god take us to anything oh god we will not suffer we will not beg for bread and we will embrace psalm 23 that say yea though i walk hallelujah, hallelujah. through the hallelujah. valley to the shadow we yes, shall Lord. not fear because hallelujah. matthew 28 tell us your presence hallelujah will be with us always Hallelujah. Oh, we bless you this morning. Hallelujah. We glorify you this morning. Hallelujah. And we tell you thanks. In Thank you, Jesus, Jesus' name. Come in on, Jesus somebody name. give God a praise. Thank ah, God for hallelujah. his presence. Thank Ooh, God for the assurance to know that he's always with us. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. to the utmost part of the world. Hey. Glory to God. Hey. Sister Wright is getting ready to come and share with us at this time. Hallelujah. Go ahead, Sister Wright. Yes. Glory to God. Hello, good morning. Hallelujah. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Praise God, hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Praise Jesus. God. Yes. Hallelujah. Go ahead, Sister Wright. We can hear you. Good morning, everyone. I'm so sorry we got disconnected. Um, so let us pray. Uh, we're going to pray for wives. Father, in the name of Jesus, we cultivate inner beauty.
the mm. gentle, gracious kind that God delights in. We yes. choose to be good wives, loyal wives to our husbands yes, and address them with respect. We will not be over anxious or intimidated. No. Yes, we no. purpose to be by God's grace, agreeable, sympathetic, loving, compassionate and humble. We will be a blessing and also receive blessings. By the grace of God, we yield to the constant ministry of transformation by Holy Spirit. We are being transformed into a gracious woman. We retain honor. We are virtuous women. Our husband is our crown. We purpose to walk wisely that we may build our houses. Houses and riches are the inheritance of fathers and a prudent wife is from the Lord. In Christ, we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace, which he made to abound towards us in all wisdom and prudence. Holy Spirit, we ask you to help us to understand and support our husbands and submit to them in the ways that show our support for Christ. Teach us to be functioning so that we may preserve our own personality while responding to his desires. We are one flesh. And we realize that this unity of persons that presents ourselves to you, Lord, that you are united with us, O oh God, as we submit to you, Lord. So we'll keep on loving our husbands, Lord, and we will let the miracle happen through your Holy Spirit. Just as our husbands give us what is due to us, we seek to be fair to our husbands. We share our rights with our husbands. Strength and dignity are our clothing. And our position is in you, Lord. Our family is totally given over to you, Lord. Father God, we will not be idle. We will not be gossipers. We will not be over anxious about anything because we trust in you with all our heart. And we choose, oh God, to yield to your will, Lord. We choose to submit, Lord Jesus, to our husbands the way you want us to submit. In Jesus' name, amen. So we're going to read our scripture from Ephesians chapter 5, verses 22 to 33. Wives, submit yourselves to your husbands as to the Lord. For a husband has the authority over his wife, just as Christ has authority over the church. And Christ is himself the savior of the church, his body. And so wives must submit themselves completely to their husbands just as the church submits itself to Christ. Husbands, love your wives, just as Christ loved the church and gave his life for it. He did this to dedicate the church to God by his word, after making it clean by washing it into water in order to present the church to himself in all its beauty, pure and faultless, without spot or wrinkle, or any other imperfection. Men ought to love their wives just as they love their own bodies. A man who loves his wife loves himself. No one ever hates his own body. Instead, he feeds it and takes care of it just as Christ does the church. For we are members of his body. As the scripture says, for this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and unite with his wife, and the two will become one flesh. There is a deep secret truth for revealed in the scripture, which I understand as applying to Christ and the church, but it also applies to you. Every husband must love his wife as himself, and every wife must respect her husband. And I'm going to ask you to keep your Bibles open. I'm going to comment on a few of the scriptures. Um, let's look at verse 22. The Christian home is a symbol of Christianity, and it should be a little bit of heaven on earth. The word submit means to be subject, subject yourselves in love and in a line with a special way. Christian wives will be ordering our lives in proper submission to our own husbands as required in this relationship with God. For subjection to the Lord includes loyal, loving, 
loyal living in the home. Submission is not slavish fear, neither is it forced upon her by a de de demanding husband, but it is a voluntary. There is no hint of inferiority in submission, but a manner of authority and responsibility in the home. Husbands and wives are part of a unit. Verse 23, headship in a living union where Christ and his church becomes one. No husband can ever be savior, but he represents Christ symbolically as a good provider and protector. Husbands are to love their wives, not treat them as inferior subjects. Christ is the husband's ideal example. So if we want to know who to follow, let's follow Christ and his word. The measure of Christ's love for the church is to be the measure of the husband's love for his wife. So we love our wives just the way Christ loved the church. Husbands owe their wives the same kind of love and loyalty as Christ has for his bride. Supreme loyalty, self-forgiving, self-sacrificing love. Christ gave himself both in life and in death on behalf of the church. So verse 28, husbands are under obligation to devote themselves all they are and all they have to their own individual wives. The two have become one in marriage. He is complete and perfected in her. Verse 30, consequently, we should understand and adopt God's principle in relation with each other within the church. Verse 31, marriage is a picture of the union of Christ and his church. Paul insists on the sanctity of the fam familiar and the sanctity of the family and treats marriage as inseparable union between a husband and a wife. We say, until death do us part. Verse 32, this holy secret revealed in the word of God is greater and it compares to the relationship with the church. The comparison of the marriage union with the union of Christ and his church is the great mystery. Um, wives should measure up to the church and to its devotion to the Christ. And wives, the description of submission is obedient wives. And wives, we are supposed to be in our submission clear, in our submission complete, and in a submission correct as we line up with the scriptures. And so um, let's look at um, Ephesians 5 and pattern our lives based on the word of God. God bless you. Amen. Praise God. Pastor Andrew. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. And I trust that uh, um, as we continue to pray and as we con continue to exhort, I pray that the spirit of God will uh, touch our lives and uh, and will reveal where in us um, and how he's talking to us and where in us that we need to change. At this time, we are going to be talking about the youth. And I'm going to invite um, Shoshana just to sing for us at this time before I talk about the youth. Good morning, church. Um, I was accessing a song, not feeling too well this morning, but I'm gonna try to sing. <clears throat> there are things that I love and hold it to my heart. They are just borrowed, they're not mine. That's
so remind me, remind me, dear Lord. Yeah, roll back the curtains, amen.
God, remind me, dear Lord. How serious are we about that? Because as we gather this morning and we pray and we exhort, what God is doing is reminding us that, that, that he is Lord, reminding us that, that there are things in our lives that we need to get right. There are things in our lives that we need to bring before God and don't take it lightly. And just as how Christ had to submit himself to God and do his father's will and die for us, how willing are we to uh, able to submit our lives to Christ. How willing are we to submit our lives to Christ? To be obedient to the word of God that he has instructed us in his word. How willing are we to submit our lives to Christ? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I trust that as uh, the Lord speak to us. We'll say, yes, Lord. Speak, Lord, thy servant heareth. Hallelujah. All he needs is a willing heart, a willing mind, a willing soul, just to submit to him, to do his will, to do a mighty move through you to bless others. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And it applies to everyone. It applies to the old. It applies to the young. It applies to our youths. And there's a particular scripture um, that I'm, that uh, a verse, just a verse, um, three verses that I'm going to zero in. And it's Ephesians 6, verses 1 to 3. It says, children, obey your parents in the Lord for this is right. Honor thy father and thy mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. Hallelujah. This tells me that obedience is the right thing. It says it is right. And outright, it says, honor thy father and thy mother. It is the one that is set above you. The, it is the desire of every youth, every young people to achieve in life, to be successful. But your success cannot truly be achieved unless you are submissive. Because, because he said, it will, in the scripture said, it will be well with you when you begin to submit to the one over you, your parents, your guardians. So therefore, when you, when you do not submit, when you harbor a rebellious spirit or anger and in your heart, and it can be silently or outwardly, because sometimes we don't see it outwardly, but God Almighty knows what is in the heart. When we don't submit, we are literally cutting our lives short. We are literally, um, we are literally making a difficult path for our lives when we don't adhere to the principles of God. When we submit and submit our lives to God and submit to authority, the one placed over us, we are, we are in, the, in, in the era where God can bless us. 
We are under the covering of Almighty God. And what Satan wants to do is to shift us out of that covering. Once we are in that covering, it will be well. I don't say to, it will have all happiness all the time, but it will be well. Because he will bless us. He will bless us with the joy, the peace, and the happiness, the resources. Everything that we need to go through. Everything that we need in life. He will bless us once we are sub, as we are, once we submit our lives to Christ, once we submit to authority. But 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 Satan Satan wants to shift us out of place by by tempting us to be rebellious. And once we begin to begin begin harboring a rebellious spirit, you find that it attracts other spirit. You, you attract the spirit of anger, vexation. So a lot of our youths are walking around with a rebellious spirit, an angry spirit, a spirit of vexation. And because of that, it shifts them on another, on another track, a track heading for destruction. My God. And they don't realize that Satan has got them on a winding road to destruction. They harbor that spirit. And they continue through life. And they take that spirit to the school. And they rebel against the teacher. They take that spirit to the workplace. And they rebel against the co-worker, the boss. And so you grow up with that spirit. And even when you come to know Christ. And even, and I want to say, you, you have gifting. You're operating in the gifting. But the, that, that, uh, that spirit is still there. That lack of submission because you can be operating in your gifting from a child going up and you are not submissive so the holy spirit cannot really do the right work that the, the real work that he wants to do through you because there is some spirit of some lack of of submission to authority it is a spirit from hell that will get you bound and take away your blessing my god amen so i just want to encourage you encourage our youths yes. our youths be careful yes Hallelujah. be careful that to not to harbor that rebellious spirit. Mm. Be careful. Yeah. Because God is the one who ordained your parents and set them over you. He has set that covering mm. over you. And once you begin to rebel, you have opened the gates mm. to other spirits. Hallelujah. And to destruction in your life. Be careful. Oh, yes. oh, and yes, for God. those of us who have gone, grown and realized that we have been a little rebellious against mm. authority. And we find that we are hitting heads with the leaders and we are hitting heads. It might be that there is something in us that God wants to tear out. So that he can bless us. So that he can touch our lives. So that he can minister to us. Yes, Lord. I pray that today you will continue to hear the voice of God. You are special. He wants to use you beyond the measure. He wants to use your gift beyond the measure. But there's just one little area that he wants to release you from. And that's a lack of submission. May God bless you. Praise God. And may he continue Praise to God. heed your spirit at this time. I'm going to invite Sister Sobers to over. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is worthy to be praised. Father God, this morning, this is the first day of the week. So I'm grateful, Father God, to be alive. I'm grateful, Father God, because I can speak to my sisters and brothers this morning. Father God, have mercy upon us, my God. We all are in trouble, my Father. We all are in trouble. Have mercy upon us. This morning, my Father, I am asking you to cover each and every one of us on this line with your blood of protection. Yes, my Father. Because, Father God, what can we do without you? There is nothing we can do without you, my God, my Lord. Father God, this morning, plead our cause this morning. Fight against those who fight against us. Those who are fighting against our children, my Father, have mercy upon us. Lord, we need you. Father God, we need your protection, Father God. Father God, we need your shield, my Father. Oh, Father God, have mercy upon us, each and every one of us. There is none like you, my God, my Lord. Father God, you said to call upon you in time of trouble. Yes, my father. We all are in trouble, mother, sister, brother, cousin, uncle, everyone, Father God. From the top to the bottom, we are in trouble, my father. Because, Father God, you said in John 10, 10, that the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Yes, my Lord, my God, but Father God, we asking you for mighty protection because you are our shield. Yes, my father, you are a rock. Father God, you are our protector. Oh my God, my Lord, we ask you this morning to fight all battles for us, Father God, because there are many battles that we're going through, especially our children. Oh, Father God, this morning, I ask you to touch our hearts, creating each and every one of us a clean heart, a pure heart, Father God. Father God, this morning we ask you to take away the spread of hate, the spread of anger. Father God, the spread of disobedience. Father God, the spread of darkness, the spread of dark, uh, of backwardness. Father God, take those spirits away. Father God, this morning we ask you to send Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire, destroy them from our hearts this morning. Oh, Father God, as we come to you this morning, we know that you sit on your throne and you're looking down at each and every one of us. My God, at one time you said, oh, you're so sorry that you made us. But Father God, help us to come closer to you, Father God. We need more of you and less of ourselves, Father God. Mighty God, this morning I lift up all homes up to you. I lift up all area calls up to you, Father God. I ask you send your angels, Father God, with swords of fire through our homes. They strike whatever demonic spirit. The spread of confusion, the spread of division, my God, destroy them mightily. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. Oh, Father God, we lift up our children up to you. Hallelujah. Oh, Father God, you see their hearts. Father God, you see their minds. Father God, I'm asking you to touch them this morning, each and every one of them. Do something new in their life. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, let them know who you are. Yes, my father, let them know that without you, there's nothing can be done. Nothing, nothing we cannot do that is, is right without you. So, Father God, search our hearts this morning, young, old, babies, whomever. We search our hearts this morning, Father God. Because, Father God, we need more of you and less of ourselves. Oh, Father God, today, our children, they're the children of tomorrow. Because, Father God, right now, how much time we hear, have here on earth? Father God, so I'm asking you to cover our children and bring them back to you, my Father. Father God, especially those who are in schools, colleges, touch them, Father God. Father God, I ask you to touch everyone, faculties and staff. Father God, let them um, um, be an example, Father God, to our children. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, the devil has taken over their mind. Oh, my God, have mercy upon us. 
And Father God, all we are hearing about is murderers, murders, murders, murder, 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 destruction, killing, killing. Oh my God, I ask you to touch us all. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Abba Father, we need you. We need you this morning. Help our children, Father God. Help the youth, my Father. Father God, help them to have respect for you, my Father. Father God, in the name of Jesus, put the fear of the Lord in their hearts for you, my Father. Because if they have the fear, the fear of the Lord in their hearts, they would not behave in this manner. And they would not do the things they're doing, Father God. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, these children, they have hurt many, their parents, their, their, their mothers, sisters. Father God, fathers, they, are hurt. they, they have hurt their family members. Father God, so I'm asking you to touch them this morning. Many of parents are crying out for their children this morning because they try everything. But my Lord and my God, we place them into your hands. Since we try everything, Father God, since we say, Lord, have mercy upon them, you give them to us so we return them back to you. Father God, we ask you this morning, fight this fight for us. Yes. Fight this battle for us this morning. Yes. Enough is yes. enough. We yes. cannot do it anymore, Father God. Mm. Father God, we have try our best, Father God. In the morning, the noon, day, the night time, and our children, Father God, they have grieved us so much, Father mm. God. So we ask you right now, Father God, to touch, touch them. Your hand is not too short. They cannot change their mind. Oh, Father God, some of them, they're getting mixed up with the wrong crowds, my Father. Yes, God. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, they're doing as though they made themselves, Father God. Mm. But I'm asking you this morning to remove the rebellious hearts. Yes, my Father. Jesus. I ask you to go to the root of the problem, my Father, with your blood, the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Clean them with your blood, Father God. Wash them with your blood. There's nothing like the blood of Jesus. Oh, how they call no second. The blood of Jesus prevail. Father God, we need your blood. Only your blood to set us free, to set them free, Father God. Hallelujah to Jesus. Father God, prepare a table before us all in the presence of our friend, so-called friends who are enemies and our enemies. Yes, Father God, because at times we think someone's because someone is smiling with us that they are our friend. But sometimes that someone is the head one that is so jealous of us and want to bring us down. They don't want to see our children succeed. They are so envy of our children education. They're so envy of our children achievements. For oh, Father God, help us all. Do something new in our children's heart. Father God, open up their eyes. Bring them out of bondage. Remove the spirit of darkness from their, their mind, Father God, this morning. I ask you, Father God, open up their eyes. Wash their eyes with your blood. The ears with your blood. Their mouth with your blood. They call mama sick. And Father God, I ask you to make them so uncomfortable that when they're about to do things that is not of you, they will say, Lord, have mercy. Have mercy upon me, a sinner. Father God, I just want to thank you this morning. Thank you, Lord. I want to thank you because thank you, Jesus. you forgive us all. Father God, once we call upon you, you forgive us. So, Father God, help us, Father God, to be and to have this right mindset to call upon you. Because there's nothing, Father God, we can do without you, my Father. Every one of us, every home is in trouble. Oh Father God, we don't care what title we have. We all are in trouble. Merciful Father, help us. Help us this morning, my Father. Yes. Father God, remove that spirit of darkness and spirit of backwardness from our children. Because, Father God, some of them, they, Father God, they cannot, they, Father God, they, they, they cannot help themselves.
themselves. Yes, God. Father yes. God, they, they try so hard, Father God, mm. but they look to others. Mm. And sometimes who they look to, Father God, they're the ones that bring them down. Father God, remove our children from destruction this morning. Father God, this morning, help our children from the suicides. Spirit. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, and those who have not surrendered their lives to you, touch them in a mighty way. Father God, let them say, Jesus, Jesus, here I am. I need you this morning. Change my behavior, change my ways, change my thought, and bring me back to you. I need more of you and less of myself. Hallelujah. This morning morning father god have mercy upon our children my father oh my god my lord i thank you i thank you we come against the spirit of destruction father god you said in matthew 18 18 what is a bind on earth is bound in heaven and what's loose on earth is loose in heaven so we bind us stubborn spirit of hate and confusion and division. We bind it in the name of Jesus and we lose the spirit of love. We lose the spirit of salvation. We lose the spirit of peace. We lose the spirit of love in their hearts this morning. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that they would adhere to your words. Help them to be in your words. Help them, Father God, to read your Bible, to read the, 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 the words of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah this morning. Hallelujah. We just want to thank you. We're grateful, Thanks Father God. God, for this day you have made. We shall be joyous and be glad in it. We're grateful, Hallelujah. my Father. We're grateful for every plan that you have for us, the plans, Father God, before we were born. Yes. Father God, we thank you for your plans. We thank you for provision. Yes. We thank you for your mighty protection, my Father. Yes. Yes, God. Father God, we thank you for your Holy Spirit. Oh, Father God, we just okay. give you thanks for our going Hallelujah. out, for coming in. Father God, we thank you for favor, send us favor from north, south, east, Hallelujah. and west. Hallelujah this morning. Hallelujah. Oh, Father God, I ask you to touch each one on this line this morning. In Jesus' name I pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, and I seal this prayer in the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, there's none like you. Jesus, help us, Father God, to know who you are, my Father. Help us, Father God, to look to you at all times. And I lift our children into your hands this morning. Bless them, Father God. Bless them. Cover them, protect yes. them, Mama, shield Mama, them, Mama, Father Mama, God. Mama. In Jesus' name, yes. we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you. And oh, amen. Everybody, open amen. your mic and begin to thank amen. God. Open your mic and begin to thank God for delivering our children. Thank yes, God for delivering our children. Thank God for blessing our children. Come on, thank God. Open your mouth. Holy Spirit. Your, your yes, Lord. Your Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Your nephew, whoever they are. God for touching Glory your son, to your daughter, Just wherever they are. Maybe you can't find them. You haven't heard from them in a while. But we seal this prayer in the name of Jesus. Jesus. We send in the this name prayer of Jesus. in the name Glory of Jesus. We send the Holy Spirit to decree and to Lord. come to pass in the name of Jesus. They may be in a position as our sister. Yes, Lord. We can't help themselves. But we have a God who knows everything, who can be yes, everywhere. Lord. At the same yes. time, and so we send this prayer in the mighty yes. name of they Jesus come the come of Holy Ghost, yes. and we decree and declare that the prayer shall accomplish. Come God's on word it. shall not return to him. Come on he said, it. "Nothing good will be told from those who are uprightly." And we declare blessings on our children, deliverance and healing and salvation. We decree and declare that they will submit to the Lord and to His word yes. and to the Spirit of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Just take another moment and worship your God. Thank you for answering the prayer. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. We thank you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Minister uh, Anne-Marie um, Chambers is coming to us at this time to share with us uh, uh, submission of our resources. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you. Jesus. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
morning, I'm thankful for the goodness of God towards us. Hallelujah. I am thankful that I am a part of a family, the family of God that solely depends on God. Amen. We depend on him to wake us up each morning. Oh, yes. We depend on him for our protection. We depend on him for our provision. And on everything that we do, we have to depend on God. As we think of finance this morning, I want us to go with me to Proverbs 3, 9 to 10. And as we see the story, we see Solomon talking to his son, encouraging his son about God and the things of God. The things that he needs to carry with him throughout his life. He told him to never forget God's commandment, nor the ways of God. And this morning I'm encouraging us, as he encouraged his son to trust and to honor him with his wealth and to put God first in his life, to put God above all else. He admonished him to worship God in giving to worship him with his wealth. Like us today, I am encouraging us, us all to honor God and to show our gratitude and our love by honoring him with our wealth. He has done so much for us and we can all testify of the goodness of God. God deserves our worship. And as we choose to worship in giving of our substance, our wealth, let us make it a sacrifice of praise. Let us make it a sacrifice of honor. We are submitting ourselves this morning in fasting and in prayer. But even as we give our sacrifice, let us see our giving each time we give our finance and our wealth as a sacrifice to God. Let it be a, in remembrance of the sacrifice that Jesus made on the cross. Because he, God gave all, Jesus gave himself. And we are also in our act of giving, reminded that it is to be a sacrifice. Proverbs 3, 9 and 10 reminds us that if we are faithful to give with the wealth we have, we will gain more. Honor the Lord with thy substance and with the first fruits of thy, thine increase. So shall thy barns be filled with plenty and thy presses shall burst out with new wine. Fathers, we pray, let us pray. We thank you for this opportunity to give. Each time we give, Father, we see it as, a, as, as an attitude of praise. We see it as a submission of our wealth to you. Help us, Father, to give willingly. Help us to give in obedience as you have asked us. We thank you, Lord, that even as we commit to give, that we will give not thinking of the bills that we have. Because, Lord, you see that many times that we are concerned about the things around us. We are concerned about the number of things that the small finance that we have can match. But help us to remember your word. As Matthew 6, 25, 24 says, we're not to worry, not to be concerned about the physical things of life. But help us, Lord, to remember to trust you and to trust your word and to be ready to share, to give into your kingdom, to be ready to be faithful and to believe your word. 
Heavenly Father, I am asking you this morning that as we think of our willingness to submit our finances, that Lord, as a church, we will be lovers of you. As we give, we will give knowing that we give out of our, our heart of love, a heart of love, a heart of thankfulness to you. Help us not to think more of the things that satisfy ourselves, Lord, that satisfy us, but help us to learn to create a balance with our finance, a balance that shows our love to you and continue to, to grow to remember that as we give, you promise to, to increase, to increase us, to increase the amount that we have. Lord, we remember even now the, the pandemic that is here, there are many that have lost jobs. There are many that are in want, but help us Jesus that we can remember that your word says that you will provide. So if it is a five dollars, help us to give us give a tenth yes. that we have purpose to give as a church, as a, as an individual, as a child of God. Amen. Help us, Lord, Holy Spirit, fill our heart with the spirit of giving. Yes, God. Help us to hold to withhold nothing from you that belongs to you, Jesus. Yes. Help us not to be one that rob you, Jesus. Yes, God. Oh God, as we submit this morning, we give our all afresh. We yes, commit God. in our lives this morning that we will give you yes, what is you belongs to you as a church, Lord. As you forgive us and teach us, Holy Spirit, yes, to you. we give with an open heart, a willing heart. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody Thank give God a praise. Somebody glorify the King of Kings. Thank you. And the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. We're getting ready to do our, our final prayer. We're getting ready to do our final prayer. And um, I just want to take the time for those who probably were not here when I did the welcome to welcome you to Kingdom Dominion Church of God. We are excited that you have joined us this morning. And we um, we want to we want to um a special welcome to um you know two young ladies that have joined us in the studio well three one of them is no stranger to us it's uh, uh <laughs> um is one of our ministers here praise god and um we just want to say thanks uh welcome for joining us this morning in our worship and we also have um uh sister uh gay shaw was joined us this morning again. She ministered to us uh, last week and we were tremendously blessed. And uh, we're going to ask her to do our final prayer today. But before we do so, we're going to we're going to worship God a little bit. Anybody feel like worshiping God a little, just a little more? Anybody? Anybody? Feel that in their spirit? Yeah. Anybody? Anybody have a? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Anybody have an itching worship in their spirit yeah. right now? You just want to? Hallelujah! You just want to? You just want to glorify God? God, I feel the yeah. presence of the Almighty God. Hey, come on, uh, hey, hallelujah! Our final prayer yeah. is to pray for hallelujah. our leaders, leaders in government, leaders in the ministry, leaders in the church, uh, that they will submit themselves. To to God and that there will be a total submission of leadership to the Almighty God. That's our final prayer. We're going to ask Sister Gay uh, Shaw to pray that final prayer for us today. And uh, I just want to welcome everyone. Welcome again. Uh, I don't want you to feel as if we don't appreciate you coming here to worship with us. There are so many other places you could have been. And the fact that you have joined us in prayer, and I feel the prayer. I know God is answering prayer. I know we are going to see a transformation in the hearts and the lives of our people. I know we're going to see better marriages. Somebody praise God with me now. Somebody come into agreement. We're going to see better marriages. Anybody feel that? We're going to see better wives, better husbands. 
we're going to see children submitting to God. I feel the power of this prayer. Hallelujah. God said we should ask and we'll receive. Seek and we'll find. Knock on the door will be open. Our God will not go back on his word. Hallelujah. And we have been encouraged. We have been challenged today. I don't know about you, but I feel encouraged to move on. Anybody feel encouraged? Thanks to our sister who, uh, who sang that beautiful song. Oh, hallelujah. All right. And, you know, um, uh, uh, sister, sister Gay, while you're praying, I'm going to ask you um, to remember one of our ministers, Minister Dr. Angela Samuels. She got news. She lost one of her um, um, uncle this morning. Um, well, it may have happened from yesterday or the day before, but it happened this week. She lost her uncle, one of our ministers on the line who prayed this morning. And uh, Minister Dr. Angela, I salute you for coming on in the service with such joy and such, such uh, zeal to worship God in spite of, of the disaster. We share your pain. We want to, we, 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 we reach out to you and we sympathize with you. Um, you know, I can say, I, I can't say I know exactly what you're feeling because I've never had an experience like that. But I know that it must be difficult for you and your family. Um, the tragic death of your uncle, who was 83 years old, he was in a, a, a home, a golden age home, and he was, he was literally murdered there. And I know it's tragic. I know you haven't had much sleep for a while. So we want to all join in prayer and, and remember Dr. Samuels and her family as they're mourning the loss of another family member. It has been hard. They have all been crying. They have been praying. They have been sharing with each other. And this is the moment when we need brothers and sisters to stand together because we are in serious time. He was not killed by COVID, no. He was not killed because he was sick, no. He was murdered in a golden age home. Tragic event, hallelujah. And, and uh, Minister Samuels, we put ourselves in issue. So, so um, Sister, Sister Gay, when you're praying, please remember Minister Angela Samuels, Dr. Samuels, our own sister faithful sister and the ministry who has served well who have served us faithfully we want to send up a prayer for her and her family that god will strengthen them at this time i i, I don't know the relative but i when i heard the news this morning and i woke up and i saw the text i was so shocked i was i have been grieving ever since and we feel your pain Dr. Samuels, we feel the agony. We feel what you're feeling. We cry with you and we support you with all our heart. Hallelujah. We want to just worship God a little more because our God is still on the throne. In spite of what's going on, our God is still on the throne and we worship him. We magnify him. We glorify him and we surrender. We surrender all to him this morning. Come on, everybody. I want you to take this final moment as we get ready to, to, to pray our final prayer. I want you to release your spirit in his presence right now. I want you to give him a yes in your spirit right now. Give him a yes. We surrender all to him. Lord, we surrender all to you right now. We're not going to withhold anything right now, God. We give you all. I surrender all to you. Everything, Lord. Everything I give to you. Hallelujah. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Almighty God, we're withholding nothing right now. Glory to God. We surrender all to you, Jesus. Everything, everything we give to you, mighty God. Everything, everything. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing, mighty God. Mighty God. Hallelujah. We glorify you. Can you say that with me this morning? Give myself away, Lord, so you can use me. 
Father, I give myself away. I'm giving you everything. I'm giving you everything, God. I'm not holding anything back. Give myself away. Almighty oh, God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. We give ourselves totally to you right now, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, somebody worship with me. Come on, somebody worship God with me. Hallelujah. Oh, we bless your name, Jesus. We bless your name. We bless your name, God. Oh, we give ourselves to you, God, so you can use us. Hallelujah. Oh, we bless your name, Jesus. We bless your name, Jesus. We bless your name, Jesus. Oh, somebody worship with me. Somebody worship with me. Somebody worship with me. Oh, we surrender all. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Hallelujah. Oh, thank we you, give you everything, Jesus. Thank you, my oh, son, to you, Lord, Father, Lord. Mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty God. But this is the day that you have made, Lord. Let me oh, rejoice and be glad in it this morning, oh God. Come on, people of God. Oh, God, Lord, Lord, we want to thank you, Jesus. Oh, we love For you. You are the mighty warrior, God. Your name, Lord. Jesus. We come to you. We come to you. We come to you. We come to you, Jesus. Oh, you are worthy. 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 God. Thank you, oh God, for planting my feet on the earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, I thank you for your deliverance this morning, oh God. Oh, 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 Without your God, nothing more than I be. Oh, I thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you for this life, oh God. Thank you, oh God, for being on this earth, oh God. We give ourselves away. Oh God, 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 oh Shall oh, not perish, so you but have everlasting God. life, oh, oh God. That's the glory you set us free. Oh, yes, Lord. You set us free, oh God. Lord, Lord, everything, Lord, everything, everything, everything. In you, my God, you have set the flesh to them. Jesus, hallelujah. Oh, this afternoon, Lord, for the Lord, save us, oh God, from the plans and the plot of the enemy. I give you my mind, I give you my spirit. Oh, I Lord, the enemy comes to steal you. Hallelujah. hallelujah. I give you my bank account, I give you my job. I give my life house. to you, Lord. Oh, it all belongs to you, Jesus. Oh, oh hallelujah. hallelujah. Withholding nothing, oh, withholding Lord. nothing, Lord Jesus. Withholding nothing. Jesus, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Tell him, hallelujah. Somebody tell him, all I want is you, Lord. Come on, somebody oh, tell Jesus. him. I know you. I know that's what you mean. Oh, yeah. Come on, oh. all I want, all I want is you. Because everything oh, that I need, Lord. You, have, God. you have everything I need. I oh. come before you right oh, now in the name you. of Jesus. Oh, mighty God. The name oh, is spirit of God, Lord of darkness, oh, shall be moved and be destroyed. All I want is you, Jesus. Oh, I want you. Right now, Lord. I, I want to be in your presence. In your strength of the Lord of forces. Oh, my God. In the name of forces of black matches that may rise against us, O God, shall not prosper. All I want is yes, serving the living God. We are serving the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Oh, shalabha, shandala, shandala, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. What a mighty God we are serving. Oh, God who looks down upon us, oh God. He give us our wealth. Oh, Jesus, you have everything that I need. He set us free. You have give us life. Jesus, you have my life. Lord Jesus, I am here today to worship you. And to glorify oh, you, Lord. We bless your name, Lord. We bless your name. Jesus, name. Oh, oh, we glorify your name, Jesus. Jesus, hallelujah. 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 Give him the highest praise. Oh, we bless your name, Lord. We bless your name, Lord. All I want, all I want, all I want to see you, Jesus. Oh, I surrender all to 
Sorry for your loss. There, uh, there is no word. There's no words to comfort you at this time. And so I just want. Hold on for a second, please. Hey. Sister, Sister Gay is going to pray our final prayer here. Sister Gay, um, okay. I don't know if your microphone is giving a little trouble here. Um, hearing me now. Praise God. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you, Sister Gay. Glory. Uh, I guess it was Glory. my my piece. My head piece was probably. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, it was turned off. Oh. Let me be the name of Jesus. Let's, let me try this again. Can oh, you still hear? Name of, yes, we can hear you. Glory. Uh, hallelujah. God. Bless God. Thank Glory you, Jesus. God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I, I, I am going to pray, but throughout this morning's service, hallelujah, as we, we consistently pray and, I, and, I, and I'm sitting here in the presence of God and just hallelujah, just opening up myself, you know, for God to, to hear from God even the more. And every time somebody pray or touch a different area, I hear the word of God saying, I am the I am, hallelujah. hallelujah. Blessed be your name, Jesus. Yeah. I hear the word of God saying, I am the I am. Mm -hmm. And then he brought me back to when I first became a Christian. My first hope was to read off the Bible. I was very young. But while reading the Bible, I never truly understand some of the things that I was reading because I started from Genesis. Oh, yeah. And But it doesn't matter how complex the other words were. I remember when I reached the part where, where Moses was talking to God and God was sending him back to, to set his people free. And he said, but God, they won't listen to me. Who, who should I say, send me? God did not say, tell them the God that is greater than our God send you. Tell them Jesus send you. Tell them the Father, the, the Father, the Son. And, no, he said, tell them that I am who I am. It is the I am that sent you. Hallelujah. And I remember being a young, a young Christian and I was leading out um, Bible study when, I, well, when we used to have um, Bible, we used to have fasting services. And I remember going there one day and the pastor didn't turn up. So I took the role to take the lead. And I remember expounding on that word. And I sat here and it came back to me profoundly. The I am that I am, that Hallelujah. sent me, that oh, sent God. Moses. The mm. I am that I am. I'd cause men of God. I'd cause evangelists. I'd cause pastors, preachers, persons who are sleeping in their beds and hear the voice of God saying, get up. I want to use you. And they get up and they go to Bible schools and they get up and they go to the feet of elders to be taught. They listen to the I am's voice and they go out and they make more disciples that are existing today. And so I come to you this morning, brothers and sisters, reminding you that the I am sent you. Amen. And should in case you misunderstood who is the I am, it is anything and everything that you want him to be in your life. So sister, Dr. Dr. Angela, you want a healer? The I am is there. You want a comforter? The I am is present today. You want somebody to be in your corner during this tension during this uh, this unexplainable moment the i am is right there and he says that i will be with you and you read it this morning system and maybe you were just focusing on it being submission but it's also a promise he promised that he will be with you always even until the end of age and that also includes comforting you in your time of troubles 
I don't know what you are going through, but I know what it feels like to lose a loved one because I've lost the only mother that I have known. And I cannot tell you how to grieve, sister, but I can promise you that if you just be, if you're willing to be obedient to the spirit of God as he leads you, then he will take you through. And brothers and sisters, leaders and pastors, I'm reminding you this morning that you were not sent by man. So when you start spreading the word of God and they become uncomfortable, remember who your main focus is. Remember who you have submitted to the I am sent you. Hallelujah. 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 Father, I come in your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Mm, I come Jesus. this morning, oh God, in no other name but the name of Jesus Christ, our Father and our Son, our, our Father and our Redeemer. Almighty God, I come this morning in the name of the Comforter, the Protector, the, the I am that I am, the way maker. I come this morning, oh God, in your name and in your name alone, Jesus. Lord, I am called upon, mighty God, to pray for the leaders. Oh God, you have made leaders of each and every one of us. Oh God, from the, from the day we were birthed from our mother's womb, we became leaders in our own right. Oh God, but there is nothing that we can do, mighty God, without you. And so this morning, God, I call upon you in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I pray that that you will, oh God, you, you will continue to anoint us, oh God, afresh. Remind us, mighty God, of who called us, mighty God. Remind us, Lord God Almighty, of where we are called, mighty God, and cause us that in to deliver according to your will and your way and your will and your way only, mighty God. Hallelujah. I know, God, that the struggles are real. And I know, God Almighty, that as children of God, we, are come, we have come up, oh God, and will continue to come up against great struggles, against great um, odds throughout this life. Lord God, there will always be oppositions. There, is all, there will always be those who would fight against righteousness, who would fight against that which we believe of. God would fight yes. against you, but in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you promise God Almighty that yes, you God. will defend us, Lord God Almighty, you are there, oh God, you, you are there in the beginning, and I know that you will be there in the end, because you promise mighty God, hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. God, you said it in your words, that there's nothing that is a to you, mighty God, you know everything, everything before it happens, God, you know the pain that we're going to encounter, you know, God Almighty, the disappointments, you know, Lord God Almighty, the struggles, Lord, your eyes are open, and you are ever ready, waiting, God, to come through for us, and so this morning, God, yes, God, hallelujah, and family on your laps, mighty God. Many yes, cultures, God. many countries, yes, many yes. oh God traditions. Our children sitting on Santa's lap when it comes to Christmas time, declaring yes. their desires and their wishes. But this morning, God, I come to you, Jesus, and I am yes. placing Dr. Angela and family on your laps in your hands, mighty. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. God, they need a touch, mighty God. I know, God, and many that you are able to make your presence felt. You are yes. able, God, and many to show yourself to man in however way. So this morning, God, as she may be asking why, 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 but this morning, God, I am saying that it's for the glory of God to be it's for you to know that you just need to know rather that God is there with you and nothing go, no, no sin goes unpunished in the presence of Almighty God. Be 
be strong, sister. Like he said to Joshua, be strong, be very courageous, because God is with you always, and you're ready to get a reminder even until death. He is with you, and you will see his glory, hallelujah, because he works in mysterious ways, Jesus. Mighty God. I place this in your presence this morning, God. The leaders, oh God Almighty, that you have pl- you have set out, oh God, that you have appointed and anointed for such a time like this, mighty God, to go in, therefore, in the byways and the highways, preaching and teaching, oh God Almighty, making disciples of men. God Almighty, maybe it was hard then, but it's getting tougher now, mighty God. Because there are so many things um, that are becoming a norm. There are so many things that are becoming uh, acceptable that you, you have spoken, God, will happen. But this morning, God, we are, we are children of the great God. We are children of the most high God. We are children of the true and living God. You never change, mighty God. Though you are in the midst of changes, God and Mighty, you are who you say you are. You do what you say you'll do. You come through God on promises that you have made. And so this morning, God, I am coming upon your words that, oh God Almighty, is written and outlined in your holy book that we have not because we ask or not. And so this morning, I am asking, mighty God, for a double portion of your Holy Spirit, a double portion of of your anointing to fall afresh, God Almighty, like fire upon your leaders, burn and consume Jesus, purify mighty God, anything that sits in the heart that is not of you, I declare it, oh God Almighty, be nullified now in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that you will consume your leaders, that you will overshadow them, that you will protect them in such a time like this. The enemy is always about roaming the earth, seeking whom he may devour, trying to embarrass who he may, Lord God Almighty, and social media, though it have its good and its bad, mighty God, won't hesitate in embarrassing, oh God. God Almighty, in the little of all errors, but I pray this morning, God, upon your words, that remind us, mighty God, that you will not put your children to shame. Lord God, we are not perfect. Neither are your leaders. They make mistakes, God. But mighty God, because that's what you say will happen. We were born in sin and shaped in iniquity, but you promise, mighty God, to be for us, oh God, you, oh God, you remind oh, me of the devil set out um, to sift him like wheat, um, but you are there, God, for him, uh, and like you are there for Daniel, uh, like you are there for Peter Paul and Silas, oh God Almighty, like you are there in the beginning, uh, so you are today, uh, oh God oh, Almighty, uh, Joshua, I uh, still stand in uh, your job today, I uh, still stand in uh, your Daniel. Jesus, and I pray 
pray, God, for those who you are speaking to their hearts, who are wondering if it is you. I silence the spirit of doubt in the name of Jesus. And I am telling you today that yes, the Lord is calling you. Yes, God is calling you in such a time like this to go in their form. Stop questioning. Stop doubting. Stop wondering if it is your mind. Your, oh, your mind will not, your mind will not just tell you to go the good of God. So if it is your mind, then accept it and run with it because God is in the midst and he's going to use you in such a time like this. Lord God Almighty, touch your leaders, I pray God. Touch their families, mighty God. I am extending the boundaries, God. Touch your leaders and their families. Because, oh God, we have a saying that when if you can't get Quaco, you catch the shot. If you can't catch the leader, you'll go for his family. But I bind that thought. I bind that even now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And as a sister prayed this morning, whatever you bind on earth is bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth uh, is loose in heaven and so i am binding the very thoughts of the enemy to want to attack the children of the leaders i am binding it uh, and i am loosing prosperity and coverage and protection over the life of god's children the leaders and their families lord god almighty i pray also god for leaders in government position in authority who you have placed over us god throughout the land throughout the earth to go oh god to govern different homes govern different countries different nations god i believe that you are still in control really? and so god as I give you thanks, as I trust you, mighty God, because I don't pray, oh God, in vain. I pray believing. And like Bishop said this morning, you are going to do something. And I believe it, mighty God. I sit with an expectation here and after God to hear the good news, to hear the testimonies of the great things that you are going to do, God. Thank you, mighty God. God, for hearing all our prayers this morning. Thank you, mighty God, for answering all our prayers this morning. And thank you, God, for reminding us that it doesn't matter where, who, why, or when. You are still the I am that I am. You are the I am then. You are the I am that I am now. And you will continue to be the I am that I am in years to come because you are who you say you are thank you god as i humble myself to you and i give you thanks to every brothers and sisters and listeners believers and unbelievers that are on this platform this morning oh god resurrect the leaders that is within us and cause us oh god to be uncomfortable uncomfortable in our comfort zone and go forth mighty god doing that which you call us to do in the name of the father in the name of the son and in the name of the blessed holy ghost i pray thank you jesus hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, somebody praise yeah. the name of jesus hallelujah open thank your you, mic jesus. and begin to praise the name hallelujah. of jesus thank you open your mic thank god hallelujah thank god thank god for deliverance thank god for hearing us thank you god you're going to do it again oh god you're going to do it again jesus somebody wants to but you say oh god we lift up the mighty name of the Thank you, Lord, for your word. Thank you for the prayer. Thank you for your children. You're going to do it again, Jesus. Bless your name, God. Thank you, Jesus. Do it again, do it again, do it again. Do it again, mighty God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory be to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Do it again, hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Hallelujah. Lord. Thank Jesus. You, Jesus. Praise. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Praise. Whoa! 
Thank you, Daddy Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you for that word, Sister Gay. Thank you, Minister Dennis. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. We are closing, but um, if Pastor would allow me uh, to, to do two things before I do what he asked of me. Go ahead. Uh, Go ahead. This, uh, gay, I think it is. I just want to confirm with you this morning. Um, the word of the Lord that comes to us is for all of us, but I'll share something real quick. Uh, it was about midnight last night when I uttered the words to the Lord and said, God, I am afraid. Hmm. Yes. Fear not, sister. I, I just said it out loud in the room. I said, God, I am afraid. And we, we, we as leaders, we can tell everybody these things. And so here it is that the Lord is sending me a word personally on today. Take that literally. I take that word literally. Just want to confirm that with you, my sister. Yes us who don't have an opportunity to confer. Secondly, I missed my psalmist. And this is not a divine revelation, no. I just miss my he, um, he was the He's the one who takes us into worship on Sunday. And because I miss him, I'm saying hi to him from wherever, wherever he is at this time, whether he's on Saturday or behind the scenes. You know, he's a very busy man. I just want to let you know that I miss you miss the worship on today even though we had a great worship all right amen i'm here i'm here the revelation is just me personally saying that I'm for the fits right yeah all right. i'm here i'm here <laughs> <laughs> oh so here we go with the song it says if i ask Four things. Hallelujah. That I should not have asked for. By mm. praying for things selfishly. If I ask for myself mm, and not for my brother <clears throat> for my neighbor it is will rise let me see if i love all my friends and serve 
them only if I serve all the rich and not the poor. What good would I have done? Oh, Christ, my Savior, since my enemy do the same. It's not my will, but that be done, dear Jesus. May the same spur be mine every day. When this roar of flesh that I wear makes me falter, guide my steps, hold my hand all the way. It's not my will. For thine be done, pray Jesus, may the saints prayer be mine every day when this robe of flesh that I wear, it makes me falter, guide my steps, hold my head all the way. I say it one more time. It's not my will, but I'd be done. Yeah, May the same be mine every day when this robe, this robe of flesh that I wear, it makes me falter. Guide my step, oh my head, all the way. Praise God. It's not my will. Hallelujah. Thy be done, dear Jesus. Hallelujah. Every day. Every day. When when this day. Guide me, Lord. Guide my steps. Hold my hand all the way. Thank Praise you. God. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, somebody bless him. Somebody Amen. bless him. Somebody, some of you look like you want to spend the whole day and praying and worshiping. Well, we gotta go. <laughs> Hallelujah. You, you're going to just have to do that at home. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I've enjoyed my time. Minister Wellington, can you say a final word for us, sir? Minister Wellington, he gave me permission to lead worship this morning. Hallelujah. He, he, he <laughs> Glory to God. Yes, Minister Lord, Wellington. Everybody.
<laughs> Bless the Lord, everybody. Bless the Lord, everybody. Awesome service. Awesome word. Indeed, God gave a word. Indeed, oh, God. God showed up and show off. Indeed, he reminded us yes. not to fear. Indeed, he reminded us that he is the I am God and he is with us. Awesome service. Awesome service. You see, God makes no mistakes sometimes, Bishop. Yeah, that's why we have to, we have to stay we have to stay in touch with God. Sometimes yeah. He doesn't He is. You see the thing about it. We have to be flexible as leaders, yeah. right? And give leave room for God to do His thing. Yeah. Because sometimes He wants to speak, but we need to we need to just free that 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 schedule. We need to just free up that regular thing and allow Him to. Mm. right and um you know awesome 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 good to have back sister gail with us and um dr angela samuels um my condolences from my family to yours right and i mean god god have you sister god have you sister denise <laughs> yes i'm here worshiping silently <laughs> try to try to get myself composed for later and later on, of course, I am inviting everybody on this platform right now to be back later. Um, later on, of course, we're going to be taking the curtains down. Mm -hmm. um, wives, submit to your own husband. I hope it's the last time I have to say this. No way out. <laughs> right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we have an awesome speaker. We have an awesome panel um, lined up and... Um, Looking forward to see you all later. Not sure where I'll be joining from yet, but <laughs> looking forward to see you all later. God all right. bless you. Back to you, Bishop. God bless you, Minister Wellington. Uh, we appreciate you, sir, and your wife. And we pray you'll continue to be strong in the Lord. My brothers and sisters, we, got, we have to go. I know you don't want to leave, but we have to go. I just want to welcome my brother who just showed up for church. Praise God. Welcome, brother. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right. So um, the, just remember uh, our service at 7 p.m., uh, uh, our men's conference at 7 p.m. Also, welcome. Bishop, my just to, sorry, Bishop, yes. just to come back in for you. We did have it at 7 p.m., but I'm going to ask the, um, the persons who can top in at 645 um now i understand what god was saying mm. um let us start that little worship from 645 let's give that 15 minutes no um a worship um you know the prior people let's let us continue and flow this over and do it so i'm asking persons to if they can log on at 645 and let's let's kick it off early amen all right so we start at 645 with some worship and if you're celebrating your birthday today or this week or this month we want to wish you a happy birthday. Oh, yes, my sister Lloyd celebrated the birthday when? Today. Well, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, my sister. Happy birthday to you. Praise God. She's in the studio with us uh, celebrating her birthday. Welcome. And Minister Claudette Edwards is here with us as well in the studio worshiping. Welcome, Minister Claus. She's still taking care of her mother in, is it New York or New Jersey? New Jersey, right? So you haven't seen her a lot because she's still taking care of her mother. Her mother is not so well. So let us keep her in our prayers. All right. All right. So let us continue to worship our God. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. I'm going to turn on some music so you can continue to worship because I know some of you don't want to leave. So I'm not going to run you out of the sanctuary. I'm not going to run you out of the church because that would not be right for me to do. So we're going to keep worshiping our God. And I want you to know I love you. I appreciate you. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> All right. All right. So we are excited about what God is doing. All right. Let us enjoy some music. Let us enjoy some music because God is good all the time. All the time, our God is good. Give me a heart like thine. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. We praise your name, God. Give me a heart like thine. 